ですかですか僕ですかEverybody, what is up? Microsoft Gaming here once again. We are now on part 19 of Mother 3. Alrighty, before I get started, please don't forget to slash that like and subscribe button if you are on YouTube and if you are on Facebook. Don't forget to slash that like and follow button as well as follow us on Rumble. Well, follow me on Rumble. I'm not in us, but okay, let's get into this game. Load game. Here we go. Let's figure out exactly what we have to do next. Alright, so last time we were here, we went in here into this、uh, movie theater, and we figured there was this hole here. Yeah, yes, go through it. It would be a bit difficult for people to fit through this. Okay, so let's go here. No problem here. No problem. Hmm. Thought there was supposed to be a stink bug there. Stink bugs stink up the place wherever they go. You know, the, like these seats, some of them smell bad. Okay, what about this one? No problem here.、Oh, okay, look at that. Up here, there's a.、Uh, they're showing like the Earthbound game, Mother 2. That is like so cool. That is so awesome. Anyway, wow, that whole speaker leads directly into the sewer system. Absolutely unbelievable. So that's why this theater stinks to high heaven. It even looks like stink bugs used to come in. Co use, looks like stink bugs use it to come and go as they please. A stink bug? Yeah, I saw one earlier. Where could it have gone? Some people say that if you take a big whiff of a stink bug smell, your memory will improve. If that's true, I'd sniff one without a second thought. <laughs> Rumor has it, whenever you guys do something, earthquakes and tremors and stuff happen. What in the world do you guys do? Your guy's leader is locked up in an apartment building underground. Huh? You don't know nothing about no leader? But your leader wants to see you. <clears throat> Here I am putting myself at risk telling you this, and you honestly don't know the guy. Don't know the guy? Yes. I see, so you really don't know about him. I don't know, maybe you're supposed to meet him without knowing who, who he is or something. He definitely wants to meet you guys, though. Interesting. This area stinks! This area really stinks! I must have had to talk to that guy. Oh! A stink bug. <clears throat> uh oh, King, get it! Get it, King! Uh oh.
No! King, what are you doing? Dumb dog. The whole speaker seems to lead into the sewers. Go through it. Oh, it doesn't let you. What the heck? We gotta find a different way in, I get I bet. Alright, um well it's not in this building, that's for sure. Let's see, what do we got here? Is it up here somewhere? Ooh, what do we got here? A vending machine. Yes, I would like to use it. Oh, okay. Apparently, I have to sell some stuff. Sell. Okay, I can sell the bear hat. Uh, luxury banana. Hot dog sushi, hot dog sushi. Alright, well, I sold something of his. What do we got? Down, I can sell that. Got lots of hot dog sushi. Um, black collar. I'm just gonna sell that. Oh, I don't even need to sell that. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, let's buy. Oh, I can't buy that. Okay, so these are new stuff that they need. Okay, so I need to go get some moolah. There's a guy, a frog right here. I want some DP stuff. Alright, let's go get 40,000 out. And then let's go over here. Yes, I would like to use it. Buy. Yes. All right, master stick. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Here you go, expensive gloves. Yes, okay. Right, we got good shoes. And then sell that. And then let's go here. There we go. Hey, banana, get this for him. And then, all right, back over to you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And that's all we got. Everything we're up to, up to date here. Let's go save. Yes, Sabalode. Booyah. Yeah, buddy. Alright, let's go. We gotta find our doggy. Find the dog. We gotta be somewhere that I need to go. Alright. Not 100% sure what I gotta do. Hold on, back this way. What's this? Oh, what's this guy? We may be tiny, but we're still living beings. We eke our, set our lives out as mole crickets. I was just talking business with this fellow here. I feel the time is finally right for us to mole, us mole crickets, to try our luck in the big city. You see, are you an acquaintance of Jackie's by any chance? Yes. Could you ask him if he'd be willing to partner with us, Mole Crickets, to strike it rich? Twinkle. <laughs> oh, hey there, Microsoft. I was just talking business with this. With this fellow tiny. With this. Oh my god, I said it completely wrong. With this tiny fellow here. There we go. I'm not really sure what to do, though. Okay. Dona's a sucker for art. She's been stuck to this spot for what seems like forever now. Okay. Trying to see where I gotta go here. Hmm. What is this place? I 
Ah, yay! I think it's a dung beetle. Wait, is that Pokey's mom? Robot version of her mom? Of his mom? Broken, broken, I'm so broken! Clank, clank, thud. There's nothing wrong with being picky. This is a restroom. That door you're knocking on leads to a restroom. What business do you have in a restroom? Uh, maybe I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Fill yourself up with your favorite food and nothing else. That's this restaurant's rule. Okay. You people don't fit in with this shop. Okay, what do we got here? A King Burger. Favorite pizza. Okay, well, I don't know. 300. I could use some of them. Yeah, can I sell? Alright, Microsoft. No, I'm not gonna waste my money on that. This shop's filled to the brim with pretty girls. Okay, I don't care. I'm trying to read the sign. Today's menu. Hot ramen bowl, hot ramen curry, hot ramen fried rice, hot ramen egg soup. Meh salad with hot ramen topping. Hot ramen lunch, hot ramen combo. Hot ramen set, hot ju jumbo hot ramen. Hot ramen parfait, hot ramen juice, hot ramen special. <laughs> I know I don't look like it, but I am a robot, honestly now. Okay, what's this guy doing here? This town's filling up with more and more people, but this shop's still as empty as ever. Okay, let's go and get out of here. I'm not even sure where I gotta go. Oh, Microsoft! You follow me here for some of my slightly unclean and not very tasty cookies? Because they don't make those anymore. Have you forgotten? <laughs> oh, a game place, whatever. Uh, there's a save point. Yes, I need something. I need to save. Here we go. Here we go. What's this? I'm totally owning me owning at this game right now, so don't talk to me. Gosh. And don't you dare try to ram into me. Oh, you don't want me to run into you, huh? <laughs> God, I told you not to ram into me. Sheesh. Okay. What's the? Can I play any of these? Pinball game. Okay. A baked yam game. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll give it a try. Oh, it just shows them playing it. Waste money for nothing. It don't look great. All right, let's get out of here. Whoops, they keep hitting that button again. Come on. Come on. Can I get out of here? In one sense, you feel completely satisfied. Uh, okay. I've been hearing a dog whimpering for a while. I think it's somewhere right below us. I can't go check it out though, the reason being that I'm afraid of dogs. Seriously, their noses are wet, they wag their tails, they lick people's faces. Gah! I totally can't handle that. So could you go look for the dog instead? Yeah, sure. Really? You must like dogs then. So you'll go look for me? Okay, I'll open this heavy cover. What? Putting myself at major risk, though. Okay. I'll open this sewer entrance for you. Here goes nothing. Ah, so this is where I have to go to get my dog. Alright, let's see. What, uh... I hear a doggy. That's King barking. He must be nearby. Let's -a go. Oh, 
Oh, let's go. Ooh, we got a hot spring in here. Let's heal up. Heal it up, dudes. All right. What's this? A trash can here, yes. Ta da! A saltwater gun, okay. Yes. Some magic pudding, nice. Uh oh, we got an enemy. Let's hit the hold button down. Go, 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 go. There we go. Booyah! All right. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go this way. Hey, what the heck? Ah, well, we gotta do it again. Boom! Come on, come on, come on. We got this. Ew. Get him, boys and girl. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Wait, what? What the heck am I supposed to do? I'm confuzzled. Can puzzled here? Where am I supposed to go? Okay, apparently this way. So we gotta go. Oh, I see where we gotta go. Go. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got an itchy eye. And then I got a mole cricket to talk to. Alright, let's go. See what we got here. My eye is itchy. Yeah, so I'd like to take a look. Bye. Ah, it's just food. I don't really need food. Alright. Don't need food. What is this place? Door won't open. Okay. Door won't open. Door won't open. What the heck is this guy? Oh, it's a tall guy. It's the freaking tall guy. From the beginning of the game. No problem here, that's a problem right there. Pulling this rope would probably be extremely dangerous. Okay. Weird. So you gotta go up a little bit. Oh. Door won't open. Everything's locked. Door won't open. Hey, there he is! Woof woof! I chased after a strange smelling bug and somehow wound up here. King joined your party. <clears throat> Woof. But never mind that. Look, look what's in this next room. Okay. Yeah, buddy. The stink bug thinks it's hiding. Oh, must be we should have been on that side before we talked to him. <laughs> Yes, it's me, Letter Leader, the Bell Ringer. <clears throat> it must be a real shock to hear me speaking for once. It wasn't that I couldn't talk all this time. I simply chose not to. As I rang that crossroad bell deep inside my heart, I, I had decided I would speak to no one. <clears throat> And then we get the music going now. 
But the secrets I've been guarding are now starting to leak out. Microsoft, the time has come to tell you everything. What I'm about to tell you might not, you might not want to know. Even so, you absolutely must hear it. It will be a long story, but please listen to it all. Yes. Given who you are and how you've lived, what I have to say will tear at your hearts. And there is just so much to tell, so I've decided to have the stink bug trembling behind me memorize everything I say. <clears throat> Ready, Mr. Stink Bug? Long ago, there existed a world. A world different from what the people on these islands think of. This world was incredibly big. More people lived on this world than there are grains of sand on these nowhere islands. I know it may be hard to imagine, but such a world once existed. Understand? Yes. At some point, the world wound up destroyed. Naturally, it was humans who destroyed it. In the back of their minds, everyone had an inkling that it would happen at some point. And then it really did happen. And so, the world is no more. Everything so far has been about the end of the world. Did you understand all of it? Yes. Just before the end of the world, a white ship came to these islands. On it were all the people of Tasmili village. Yes, aboard the white ship there were, th there were those few who had managed to escape the world. The people on the ship still went by their names from the previous world. This white ship plan had been set in place before the world was destroyed. And although there are, there are part of the world, they're part of the world, these no -hit nowhere islands are a special place. They were the one place that would remain even if the world was lost. <clears throat> no one and... Oh, the one and only place where people could survive. And so, the white ship arrived at these islands. Everything so far has been about the white ship. Do you understand all of it? Yes. Have you committed everything so far to, the mem to memory, Mr. Stinkbug? The reason these islands are special is because they harbor a giant dragon nearly as large as the islands themselves. Long ago, people lived their lives. Lived Oh boy. Long ago, long, long ago, people lived together with the dragon. However, at some point in time, the people and the dragon could no longer coexist. So, using the several, the seven needles, the dragon was placed a long, long sleep. Was placed into a long, long sleep. By the, uh, by the ancestors of the Magipsy people, who have lived here since ancient times, ever since the Magipsies have guarded the needles in an effort to prevent the dragon from being woken until its power is truly needed, thus until the time of its awakening. The dragon continued to sleep as the power of the earth itself. And so, because of the tremendous energy of the dragon hidden deep below, these islands were protected from the end of the world. Everything so far has been about the dragon and the gypsies. Did you understand all of it? Yes. Those who came here aboard the white ship feared another end of the world for more, more than anything else. They felt that the world's destruction was a direct result of the way they had lived. The people of the White Ship discussed things at great length. They shared their wisdom and spoke with grave seriousness. And then they arrived at the conclusion 
they decided to completely erase everyone's memories of the previous world and start their lives over with new rules and new roles. Yes, in short, everyone would play out the ideal story that they had come up with. This is what happened. The people would restart their lives in a simple, peaceful village in the kind of place they wished they had grown up in. They would erase their memory of everything the world, their belongings, their rules, and they would begin their new lives. Everyone's old memories would be reset and replaced with their newly created story. Whoops. And that, however, it was necessary to record the fact that the memory replacement had taken place. The hummingbird egg was the device used to store the memories of the white ship people. Wes and his son, Duster, both playing the roles of thieves, were set to take action should a dangerous situation occur. Remember, when they went to Osahi Castle, they went there to retrieve the secret of the people of the White Ship. And there's an, one other thing, me. It was essential that one person retain memory of the previous world to sort, to sort of keep watch over things. I was the only one in the village of Tasmali who wasn't given a role in the new story. <clears throat> the sound of my bell served as a suggestion to keep everyone's fabricated memories from reverting. My name, Leader, comes from the word Leader. No, no, that doesn't mean I was anyone special. It was just that I was particularly taller than all the others. So upon discussion, I was selected. I selected. I was selected because it would be easier for me to stand out. Being so tall, people would want to come see me, you know? And so I was given the role of revealing these secrets when the time truly called for it. Everything so far has been about those who lost everything. Although Tesmeli Village exists in reality, it was originally created as part of a story. I know this may be difficult to believe, but do you understand so far? Yes. Let me also talk about Osahi Castle. Apparently, long ago, a kingdom existed on this island centered around the king of Osahi. However, we arrived on the white ship the people of this kingdom were gone it seems they had left the islands fearing the dragon's eventual awakening someday before boarding the white ship princess kumatora was an infant who had lost her mother and father <clears throat> upon coming to these islands she was giving given to the mad gypsies to raise and given the role of the of Princess of Osahi Castle. Wes and Duster, bring, being her retainers, was another part of the fabricated story. Osahi Castle is one of the few and precious relics of the island's past. We crafted our story in the haste, so the people inside it have very little past or history. <clears throat> Have you noticed no one in Tesmili can talk about things from a hundred or a thousand years ago? In truth, we had wanted to create an entire plethora of myths and legends, but our story was made in such a hurry that we weren't able to... We weren't able to. It's a real shame. I'm sure that much of what I'm saying you'd rather not hear, but it's the truth. Have you listened to everything so far? Yes. Have you committed everything so far... To memory, Mr. Stinkbug. Truthfully, we had no idea how Tesmili would village would turn out, but things actually went rather well. The people who had arrived on the white ship had fully taken to their new identities. They believed they had always lived together peacefully. It was when a person by the name of Porky stumbled upon these islands that everything started to go amok. 
it seems he used a time distorter machine to travel through time and space at will. However, he was apparently shut out from all the other all other times and spaces and tumbled into this era and these islands. Even worse, he used his time distorter to bring many people from other eras here. The pig masks, as well as everyone in New Pork City, were all brought here and brainwashed by Porky. This Porky fellow seems to view these islands as his own personal toy box with which he can do anything he wants. He would take animals apart and recombine them to make creepy new chimeras. As a childlike dictator, he began doing whatever he pleased, including building Thunder Tower and forming his own army. Porky eventually learned the white ship secret because of a traitor among the gypsies. Do you understand about the intruder known as Porky? Yes. This traitor was Lucrea, the seventh Magipsy, and the only one you haven't met yet. After Lucrea joined forces with Porky, Porky learned about the white ship people and the secret of the sleeping dragon. Porky decided to pull the needles to wake the dragon so he could use the power for himself. The dragon is the power of the very earth itself, you see. It's said that when whoever pulls the sealing needles will become the dragon's master. However, only a very select few are capable of pulling the dragon's needles. Apparently, neither the Magipsies nor Porky have the capability. Yet, the needles are being pulled now. That means Porky is somehow controlling someone who can control the dragon's power. We have to put a stop to Porky's antics. If we don't, the world will be completely destroyed again. And it will spell the true end for everything. For Porky, that might be the ultimate pleasure, but we can't allow it to happen. We, the last handful of people there are, absolutely can't allow it to happen. Microsoft, it seems you're a chosen one, with the ability to pull needles sealing the dragon away. You must pull the dark dragon's needle with your own hands, as, and pass your heart on to the dragon. <clears throat> Let this be my one and only order to you as your leader. Do you understand everything about the Dragon's Awakening? Yes. I hear that the six, the six of the Dragon's Needles have already been pulled deep in the earth. The Dragon is likely beginning to stir from its sleep now. Supposedly, the last needle is somewhere here in New Pork City. Porky has been gathering everything that lives on these islands into a new pork city to prepare for the final needles pulling. It's possible that he's planning to hold one final twisted party, but now is our chance to change this looming crisis into a golden opportunity. All things may come true to an end, or may come to an end, or new and bountiful things may begin. <clears throat> Wouldn't you like to help that happen? Microsoft, you were once a weak, fragile boy, but now you've been given a tremendous role to fulfill. Now that you know everything, including everything I'm sure you'd rather not know, the time has come for you to save the future of all life as we know it. God won't make you bear any more than you can carry. That is a very true statement. I'm sure you've heard that phrase before. Know that you aren't fighting alone. <clears throat> and I do mean everyone will lend you their support. That was a long story, but that is the end that is the end of everything I have to tell you. <coughs> Do you understand it all? Yes. <clears throat> Only the Magipsies really know the needles' locations, so I don't know where to find them. 
but from the way Porky and the others have been acting, I would say they're now very close to reaching the seventh needle. Please, Microsoft, be the one who pulls the final needle. Porky issues his orders from the hundredth floor of the Empire Porky building. <clears throat> Start by jumping into the fray and storming the building. After that, you can start looking for clues. It's been such a long time since I've spoken to anyone, and now I'm exhausted. This stink bug should remember everything I've just said. Take him with you. That way, if you happen to forget anything I've said here, you can ask him to repeat it. Will you go with them, Mr. Stinkbug? Yeah, that was a lot of reading. <clears throat> Alright, let's, uh... Let's head out. Let's hear where we gotta go next. Oh, wait, I gotta get the stink bug, I think. There we go. Got the stink bug's memory. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Back to where we came from. Really? Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Really? I gotta heal. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on. We got this. We got this. Come on, we got it. Come on, come on. Got it. Ring tang. Alright. Futura is now level 61. King is now level 61. Nice. Alright, let's uh let's go here. No, no. Let's go here. Just life up. Next up, all right. All right. All right, we're all maxed out. Oh, hold on, let me see something stats here. All right, all righty, let's uh, <clears throat> see, I need to see something. Go this way. Oh, we got a hot spring. Forgot about the hot spring. Go get rid of all my crap. All my poison and everything. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Boom, boom. What the heck is this? Is that facade? <clears throat> it is facade again. This guy don't die. Wee -hee 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 -hee. That's one. Wee and eight he's. Oh, what a pleasure it is to see you again. No, wait. Long time no see. Facade says, I say he 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 to you, for I will now give you thoroughly destructive damage. He goes on to say, I have been remade into an incredible, fiercely powerful and dangerous ultimate weapon. Therefore, I will absolutely, unquestionably be victorious over you. That's what Facade says. What's more, I will put an end to your tail. I will get, and provide you with even more damage. I don't know what he said a few seconds ago, but I accidentally skipped it. Until you are soundly defeated, is what Facade says. Oh, here we go again. 
Now then, here I come. We he 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 he. We he 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 we he 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 he. Basad is now ready to fight. Here he comes. All right, let's go. Come on, Basad. Whoa, he looks different again. He's got more horns. Okay. Um, let's go to assist first of all. Let's do some defense up for everyone. And then you do offense down. You do tickle stick, and you can just attack. Gotcha. Yeah, buddy. Offense down. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Yeah. Alright, here we go. And then assist. Offense up. Assist. And then defense down. You tickle stick. And you attack. <coughs> Alright, right here we go. What now? Alright, alright. Well, we're good to go. We gotta attack. Do that one. And this, you get Star Storm. Do that one. And then... You can do Tickle Stick again. Soft and friends attacks broke off some of Facade's horns. <clears throat> nice. Filled Facade's heart filled with hatred. Facade is serious now. <laughs> yeah. We gotcha, we gotcha. Really? Get him. Got him again. Get him. Oh, I can do this one. And then I can. Oh, I can do Star Storm again. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, what are you doing? Yes! He was no problem. That was awesome. Miracle Facade was defeated. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, buddy. Microsoft and company are in 28,000 experience. Duster is now level 60. Awesome. Splotched right back in the water, huh? Well, maybe not. Gah! Ow! Whoa, 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 ow, wow, whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm, I will not translate this part. The reason being is that these are not words, but simple sounds. You have bested me, kind sirs. Actually, no, you do not best me. You are merely detestable. I am sick of all this fighting. Very extremely sick of it. This is all just a game. You could call it Master Porky's game. You people are still stuck inside the game. As for me, I may have been removed from it. But I am still not sure. The flames of my life are in danger now. I do not think we are, will ever meet again. And not just in battle, is what Facade sta states. 
he also adds a ver in a very faint voice. We he he he. Facade is now going to plummet. Yeah, back in the water. I didn't think he was going to go in the water, but he did. <laughs> I'm an interpreter. But now that facade is gone, I am no longer needed. Please do not chase after me. Goodbye. Alright. Well, let's go this way. Go back to the thing just in case. Go get this here. Heal it up. Heal it up. Heal it up. Heal it up. up. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You stay in there. I gotta get healed up. <clears throat> Let's go. <clears throat> go, 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 go. Relaxing in the hot spring meet everyone. And blah, 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 blah. Okay, go. This narrow dark hole appears to lead in the movie theater. Are you going through it? Yes. It'll be a difficult. I can try to go through that too. Let's a go. Going, going, going. Yeah, buddy, back up. You found the dog? Good for you. Alright, we found the dog. You need something? Yes, I need to save. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, to the bot, to the D. Oh, what are you doing? Let's get out of here. I'm not sure what I'm doing next here. Uh, oh, what the heck? Police car. Police car. I'm busy. Go somewhere else. Police have police things to keep that keep them busy. I'm so incredibly busy. Go somewhere else. Baked yam sellers have baked yam things that keep them busy. I don't know if everyone is gathering here in the city or being gathered instead. But if you're here, Microsoft, that means everyone really is here now. Oh, hey there, Microsoft. I was just talking about old times with Isaac. He's an important guy nowadays, you know? <clears throat> Microsoft, you're the dear and charming guest that Master Porky is looking for? Oh, it's me, Isaac. I'm the big shot now. But Microsoft, I didn't know you were anyone special. If you do anything to defy Master Porky, then you and me will be enemies. What's this thing? Oh, this is a theater. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go. What are you doing? You keep bashing into me now? Welcome. Alright. Why can't I get up there? Car. Police car. I'm sorry, but the car but car puns drive me crazy. Be sure to obey the rules of the road. My heart is always filled with the rules of the road. Alright, um, this way. Let's try to go this way. Let's, yeah, I can get up there. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, this is nothing up here. This away? Do we need anything here? I think I just bought everything here. I believe it did anyway. Yeah, I did. I already bought all that stuff. Alright, let's go this way. It's been taking them a long time to repair the elevators inside the Empire Porky building. So they should be fixed pretty soon now if all goes running to schedule. I'm waiting for elevators to get fixed so I can use the upstairs bathroom. Okay, well, let's, uh... Oh, what's this? Well, if it isn't Microsoft, I've come here to study up on Master Porky's... Porky, our great leader. So, you finally came to Microsoft? Is Flint still out looking for his missing son? 
If only he'd come to me for serious help, we might have been able to find him. He's an awkward fellow, you're that father of yours. Thank you for being stupid about my father. Okay. What is this? Another shop? Heck yeah. Is there any more I can buy? Nah, it's just food. Just food. Welcome, Smile Smile. The elevator repairs have finally been finished. Please feel free to take it to whichever floor you, your heart leads you. Uh, okay. Where's that? Is that this way? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's the elevator. Oh, Microsoft. I was just on my way to... Uh, just on my way to the DCMC concert. I've actually never seen them before, even though I worked at the factory right next to Titty Boo for such a long time. <laughs> That statue of Master Porky looks a lot like a kid, don't you think? What do you think? Think? What do you think's up with that? Has anyone ever seen Master Porky before? How old do you think he is? He must be amazing to build a city like this. You don't need Master Porky. He's not good. This elevator goes up. He's an a-hole. Let's go up right up the elevator. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey now, you're sort of in the way. The elevator broke, so I rushed to fix it. For some reason, it, it wouldn't stop at the concert hall on the 24th floor anymore. But now it works fine. Wait a minute, you weren't thinking of going to the 100th floor, were you? Yes. And I apologize, the repairs I just made allow the elevator to stop at the 24th floor concert hall only. So please just take it to the 24th floor. Please, really, I think that it would be best for the best. Why not? Let's go. Going up. What are you doing? What? Aren't you... Aren't you Lucky, the bass player for the DM DCMC? Sweet! Lucky's back! That's incre That incredible bass line is finally back! Let's go, Mr. Lucky, let's go! <laughs> hurry, hurry! Uh, okay, well, let's, uh, let's hurry. What do these guys say first? DCMC has have been incredible since their titty boo days. What in the world am I doing here? I'm sorry for bothering you. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, what the? Oops, I tried to stop you out of instinct. The instant I saw your face. You're not in danger this time, though. Are you sh are you sh blah, blah, blah. Are you here to see the concert? I'm sure it'll be great. I was trying to go save anyway, dude. Save. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. We are in the Empire Porky building. The woman next to me I'm holding hands with. She's still with me after all this time. I guess there's no question she likes me, huh? If she were to suddenly kiss me. Or... Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, those are the, the two people that were staring at each other in the beginning of the game, but wouldn't go near each other. The man next to me I'm holding hands with, he's still with me after all this time. I guess there's no question he that he likes me, huh? If he were to suddenly kiss me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Thump, thump. People are starting to say that the bassist has come back. Or not. Or something, I think. But if it's true, then this is going to be the greatest night ever. Being put in charge of the concert security means we get to enjoy the show, too. I love the boss's sense of, yeah, I'm great and strong and manly, but the DCMC is my life. <laughs> Something smells like, smells dog-like and kid-like. Oh, it's you guys. Don't worry, I'm not going to do nothing, though. Let's just enjoy the concert together as fellow DCMC fans. Okay. Let's go. Isn't 
Lucky! Long time no see, you bum! Long time no see! We've been making some pretty okay concerts on our own since you left, but with you here, it's gonna be like, wow! Lucky, I missed you so much. How you been? Lucky, it's good to see you again. All living things on these islands have been gathered here in Newport City. A great undefiable power has prepared a festival for the end of all life. We can see through this porky guy's shallow brain plans like they're nothing. Why is that, you ask? Because we're so drunk on our music that he can't fool us with his nonsensical crap. I don't know who this porky guy is, but with all five DCMC members back together, nothing can scare us now. Well, if you think about it really hard, maybe I can think of something that can scare us. But no, nothing can scare us now. <laughs> hey, Lucky. Let's forget our worries and just enjoy the music like the old days. We even have your afro wig all ready to go. An afro wig. Put it on, yeah. <clears throat> yeah! The crowd goes wild. <laughs> All right, it's a show going on. DCMC. Here we go. All right, everyone. This may be the last time you'll ever get to hear us play, and this might also be the last time we ever get to perform. To all you wonderful music lovers who have gathered here on this special day, you're our greatest happiness of all. Tandagasa! We're gonna rock until you drop. No. We're gonna rock until everyone drops. We're gonna do this thing non-stop. Let's do it! Yeah! Very catchy. Who you all flip for the face? Get him, boy! Nice drum solo! Tandagasa! Thanks, everyone! Let's move right on to the next song. No break! I actually got some voices in there. That's cool! Nice. 
cool. That was really cool. <laughs> tisk tisk tisk. Looks like someone stopped our concert by force. Bing 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 bing. Attention, all goody two shoes inside the Empire Porky Building. The final game has begun. Please gather up what puny wisdom and pathetic courage you have and come to the hundredth floor. However, there's no guarantee the elevator will work how you want it to. <laughs> well, I'll be waiting for you on the hundredth floor. Alrighty. Concert got stopped, but we ain't gonna we ain't glum. We got luck on our side. We've always had dumb luck on our side. Tanda Gasa. <laughs> Do you think the concert might not have been stopped had we played Porky's lullaby song or something instead? Microsoft was it? We leave lucky in your hands. Oh wait, I mean Duster. I forgot, he's not lucky. <laughs> Right. Oh, I thought we could move. You're the ba you're the only bassist in the DM bassist the DCMC can ever have. Without you, we're without a bass. All right, let's go, guys. What do we do now? Ooh, did they say something different? It's all cause those lousy intruders that DCMC concert got stopped. We DCMC fans. Ought to catch him ourselves and make him pay. Grr. Maybe the boss is in a prickly mood because of the horns on his head. <laughs> the boss is in a really prickly mood. Okay, it's... While I was flailing around during the blackout, I think our lips touched. I wonder if it was on purpose. Do you suppose he likes me? Oh, my heart's beating so fast. Thump, thump. <laughs> All right. Let's save. All right, everybody. This is going to be the end of episode 19. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to slash that like and subscribe button if you're on YouTube. And if you're on Facebook, don't forget to slash that like and follow button as well as follow on Rumble. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good night. Peace out.